Hi there, welcome to Dr. Nash drug series. And this video is about the protein synthesis in bacteria and the drugs inhibiting it. The protein synthesis occurs in the ribosomes either on free ribosomes or the ones attached to the endoplasmic reticulum. The bacterial ribosomes consist of 50 S and 30 S subunits of 70 S ribosomes. Based on the codes in the mRNA produced by transcription from DNA, the initiator tRNA attaches to the B site of the 50 S ribosomal subunit. Following this, new tRNA with amino acid arrives on the A site. Further, the amino acids from B sites gets transferred to A site and the peptidyl tRNA gets relocated to B site. The empty tRNA exits via E cell. Stop colon arrives once a programmed protein has been synthesized. Following this, the peptide chain undergoes folding to form a secondary structure and finally to form a quaternary structure of the protein. So, let us see the drugs inhibiting this process. The amino leukocyte binds to 30S as well as 50S subunits, leading to freezing of initiation, interface with polysome formation, and causing misreading of the mRNA code that by producing an aberrant protein which gets incorporated onto the cell envelope that by causing lysis. Whereas the tetracyclines binds to 30S ribosome and inhibits amino acid tRNA attachment to the A site, leading to A site attachment inhibition. But a chlorophenicol binds to 50S subunit, interface with peptide bond formation and transfer of peptide chain from P site. Finally, microlytes and nicosamides binds to 50 subunit hinders transplication of elongated peptide chain back from A site to B site. Thank you for watching and do click the subscribe button for more videos on transaction.